Skippy John Jones, Class Action, by Judy Skockner. Skippy John Jones was just dying to go to school. And nobody, not even his mama, was going to stop him. But she did, by the scruff of his neck. School is for the dogs, stated Mama Junebug Jones emphatically. They're unruly and drooly, she added dramatically. Just listen to that barking. Those hounds sound ferocious. Plus, a bus full of dog breath would smell so atrocious. Good golly, Poplali. It's such a no-brainer. If there is a good dog, it's because of its trainer. His mama gently nudged her nugget into his room. Then she added, Your Skippy John Jones is smart Siamese cat. Take a look in the mirror if you don't believe that. He looks in the mirror every day, said his sisters, Jezebel, Jilly Boo, and Jujubee. But all he sees is chihuahuas. Arf, arf, barked Jujubee. After his family left him to think, the chihuahua did exactly what his mama suggested, but not before he bounced around his room with some books. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I don't get the fuss. It's not like a pigeon is driving the bus. Then he climbed up his sister's kitty condo ladder for a peekaboo in the mirror. Holy Julio, squealed the kitty boy. How many chihuahuas am I? He wondered out loud. Then he took a deep breath and using his very best Spanish accent, he answered. As many as your head can handle, hombre. And quicker than you can say the cat in the hat never did that, the kitty boy tossed his mask and his cape and a bright yellow banana into his mochila. Then, as he buttoned up his red plaid shirt, he began to sing in a muy, muy soft voice. Oh, my name is Skippito Frisquito, and I'm off to the school for burritos, because I've got a good hunch and I'm going to have lunch with a grande old bunch of potitos. Just across the hall, Mama Junebug Jones and the girls were doing a little homework of their own. Listen here, messy missies, said Mama. How are you supposed to clean your kitty condo without your ladder? Skippy John has it, said the sisters. What for? asked Mama. So he can see the chihuahua in the mirror. The chihuahua, however, was already in his closet, boarding a bus for school. But the kitty boy wasn't the only chihuahua on board. His old amigos, Los Chimichangos, was going to school too. Thank dog you made it, dude, exclaimed Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Si, Skippito, panted Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We need your help, con el bolito. Without it, Albito, declared El Skippito. But why do you need my help with the bully? Because he is a perro mesquino, declared Don Diego, who barinos around the escuela in a tazalita. He spins around the school in a tiny teacup, exclaimed the kitty boy in shock. See, sí, dude, added Don Diego. He growls and howls and wears a suerte de lana también. Not the wool sweater, said Skipito. Uh-huh, agreed Piquito Tito, trembling. He is a woolly bully. There wasn't a dog worth of his biscuits who didn't fear the woolly bully, so it wasn't surprised when a potent puff of panic poofed out the gatito's tail. And all that puffiness inspired the puchitos to sing. All puffy, puffo, puffito. We know you can do his capito. Let's unravel his sweater and knit something better. We'll show that old woolly bolito. But there was no turning back now. The doggies had arrived at school. A moment later, the principal, a poodle with very high standards, appeared with a bucket of balls and a whistle. First she blew, and then she threw. Go fetch, barked Miss Begolot. And then every dog, big and small, chased a ball down the hall and into their classrooms. Except for Skipito. He got carried along by the river of rovers and... Landed in an art class where he drew his best ever double doggy doodle. I've never seen a pup do that before, said Miss Houndler, the art teacher. Then he trotted over to the music room and bayed like a beagle for the canine chorus. Oh, whoa, woofed Mr. Muzzletuff. 
What a pair of ears! After music came math, where Skippy stunned Miss McDriller with his counting skills. Two, three, five, seven, eleven! At the bell, the amigos followed their noses into the library. Not even a bowl full of frijoles smelled as delicious as the scent of books waiting to be read. I lick libros, declared El Scapito Frisquito, the great readerito. I like books, too, whispered Leonora Lapsitter, the librarian, from behind the bookcase. The kitty boy was the last to leave the library, so he had a race over to French class with Monsieur Fouset. Can you say cheese? asked the teacher. Oui, oui, said Z Poodles. Fromage. Si, si, said Skipito. Queso. Queso cabeza, shouted the chimichangos from the rear of the room. I'm not a cheese head, chimichangos, chuckled the gadito. I'm a chihuahua. The poodles were tickled pink to have los puchitos in class with them and Los Puchitos wanted to share what they had learned with their amigo. Zose Pupi Zeng. Como si, como se, como sito. We have something to tell you, Scapito. When ze puro ze we, ze really mean si, so don't look for a red hydrantito. After French, Los Muchachos took a pass on obedience class, deciding instead to nap inside the warm case with the golden trophios. I'm not good at following rules, confessed the kitty boy. What dog is, dude? quipped Don Diego. But just then the gatito heard a gut gurgling growl that shook the entire escuela, perhaps the whole planeta. Holy heartburn! hollered Skipita. Was that my tummy? No, that is the bellow of the woolly bolito, said Piquito Tito with a shiver. The gruesome grumble grew louder, and along with it came the rattle and plink of the terrible Tazalita. It was spinning wildly right under the, his nose, circling like a polka-dotted shark. Andale! declared Don Diego. Get out your duds, dude! But Scapito was too frozen with fear to unpack his mochila, so his amigos did it for him, helping to change their chico into El Scapito Fresquito, complete with mask, cape, and banana. Why the platano, dude? asked Pinto Lito. It's my snackito, replied the gatito. Will you share with me and Tito? Yes, indeed, agreed Skipito. Then, woof, chaka laka laka, woof, chaka laka laka. Every doggy leaped out of the case and latched onto the turbocharged Taza. This caused the cup to spin wildly out of control, some of the chicos just hanging on by a tail. Estoy mareado, cried Skipito. You're not dizzy, dude. You're green, yipped the doggies. The whirling dervish of a dog-filled teacup cut a mean path to destruction past the principal's office and spun straight on into the lunch bunch like a bowling ball. Strikeito! shouted the pochitos. And strike it did. Smash! Crackle and pop! The twirling tazalita crashed right into a table and broke apart, exposing the ferocious fuzzy for what he really was. A teeny tiny itsy bitsy wool wearing teacup chihuahua. Dude, declared Skibito, you're no bigger than a baguito. But the baguito's only reply was a gut gurgling growl greater than the hounds had ever heard before. Is that your tummy? asked Skibito. Si, sí, replied the bolito. Tengo mucho hambre. I am hungry too, agreed the gatito. But you can have my platano. This act of kindness made the chimichangos pull out their jump rope right in the middle of the mess. Peanut butter and belly buttons, chunky cherry pits. The woolly bully's taza has broken into bits. Wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle, jelly on the toast. He's not a woolly bully, he's just hungrier than most. But then Miss Begala stomped into the lunchroom. I smell a cat, she bellowed. That cat better scat. Then came out the whistle. First she blew and then she threw a bright yellow ball down the hall, which every dog, big and small, began to chase. Except for Skibito. He wasn't chasing the ball. He was running for his life. First, Gabito tripped, and then he slipped on the banana peel and slid straight out of his closet. And back into the arms of his mama, Junebug Jones. 
What in the woolly white wheelies have you been up to, Mr. Whistle Whiskers? asked Mama. He broke my teacup, whined Jilly Boo, and he ate my banana, complained Jezebel. That's cause he went to school with the chihuahuas, explained Jujube. Later that night, after every fuzzy fell asleep, the kitty boy was good for one last bounce. Oh, I'm Skibby John Jones, and I couldn't say it better. A dog is not a bully just cause he wears a sweater. Then he bounced over to his mama and gave her a bistle. A kiss she felt straight through the layers of her quilt. Good night, little Dippa, said the very sleepy mama. Good night, mama, said the very sleepy kitten. The end.